Here are a few reasons why I think you shouldn't Google your symptoms. Number one, imagine that when you are super, super anxious, it's a bit like you're drunk, okay? Your perceptions are a bit off and the way that you're thinking is not clear. So you're gonna go on to Google and you're gonna, your brain is gonna ignore all of the benign common stuff and your brain will look for the threat. It's gonna look for the biggest, scariest thing that they can find and it's gonna basically self-relate to it and you're gonna panic. Number two, not all information on the internet is accurate and a lot of information is like super outdated and a lot of us when we have health anxiety, we end up like just going down these rabbit holes, going on forums and yeah, it's just, that's not gonna end well. Number three is a loss of resilience, okay? So every single time we Google, we're basically telling ourselves, I can't cope. I can't cope with anxiety. I can't cope with my emotions. And every single time I have something, I have to problem solve it. And then that means that the next time, it's gonna become a habit. And so we're always gonna have to Google every single symptom and sensation. And that is a tiring life. Number four, it leads to so many unnecessary doctor's appointments, tests, procedures, scans, all of that. Like I can't tell you the amount of scans and tests I had done because of something that I read on Google. What other reasons can you think of? Let me know down below in the comment section.